All right, y'all. So let's see who's stalking your social media. And then we're going to see why they're stalking you. All right. So we have Gemini. So there's a Gemini stalking you right now. Let's see why this Gemini is stalking you. All right, Spirit. Why is this Gemini lurking? So you could be a high priestess, all right? You could be a Pisces, uh, but you definitely could be a high priestess, which is um, saying that you're very intuitive. You you are very um, very wise, all right? Uh, you could be a tarot reader. You could be into spirituality or whatever. But if not, you're just somebody that he's looking at. Like you have a lot of mystery to you, you know, like he, I feel like you, he's trapped in his mind about you, which is why he's stalking you. All right. He's stuck in his mind about this. He's thinking about you. Uh, it's also about being paralyzed by fear. So I feel like he definitely wants to have this new beginning with you. He wants to take this leap of faith towards you, the high priestess. But there's something that's keeping him stuck in his mind, okay? I see in the past energy, there was a lot of manipulation, a lot of uh, trickery here, you know, lies and shit like that. Yeah, lying, all right? And this person, uh, he could have got caught for the lies that he that he was saying, or she, you know? Um, let's see. Let's see why the Eight of Swords. I feel like they could be stuck in their, in their head right now because of whatever they did to you in the past. You know, maybe they're scared right now, thinking that you're not going to be open to this communication. Let's see. What is this Eight of Swords? Okay, the Emperor. So he could, you could be dealing with an Aries, uh, well, an Aries somewhere in his chart because we have Gemini here. Uh, but anyways, with this card, it shows here for sure. He is, he is watching you here. Okay. With that page of swords. So it's about stalking. So this guy, he could be a boss. He could be a, a father. He could be a baby father. He could be a father figure. He could be somebody who, um, who is of authority, you know, like he could be a boss. He could be an entrepreneur or some shit like that. But basically this guy, I feel like. The reason that he's scared is because I feel like you could be in your emperor energy now that I'm thinking. I feel like this is why he's scared because he sees you in this emperor energy. Like you are right now and you, you balancing out your feminine, your feminine energy and your masculine energy. All right. You are right now um handling things on your own. You know, you are being very independent right now. You know, you're working on yourself. You're doing, you know, you're doing what you got to do. Uh, and that's that's you and the emperor energy, you know, and the masculine energy. Somebody who's providing, bringing structure, taking control of their life, okay? And yeah, look, bottom of the deck, exactly what I said. Nine of Pentacles, independent. Um, you're successful, you know. You're somebody who has financial stability and security. So you've been working on your abundance, on your financial security and stability here, okay? Uh, finding control in your life, all right? And now that's why this person is feeling a little bit, you know, a little shaky because... I feel like they think that you are like this, you know, you're protecting yourself, you know, like you're not, you're not going to let anybody come into your energy because you worked hard to protect your energy. So he's scared right now because of that. Yeah, he's scared of that. He's scared because of that. Because we have here the nine of swords basically saying the same thing, you know, like he's on, he's, he's in his head about this. He's stressed out. Uh, he could be losing sleep. You know, he could be up at night watching you on your social media. All right. But this is why this person, um... Is right now in his head because of this. Because he thinks that you're going to end up swerving him. You know, like you're not going to be open to this. All right. So, we pull one more card. So, yeah. The full card is exactly what I was saying. Like, he wants to take this leap of faith. 
he wants to have a new beginning with you. With the Six of Pentacles, it's saying that he wants to bring balance into the connection. He wants to uh, have an equal give and take here. He wants to reciprocate your energy, okay? And look, bottom of the deck, the Justice card, same thing, balance. He want to, you know, bring balance into the connection. Same thing. He want to be fair now, you know? He was unfair in the past, now he want to be fair. Okay, so I hope I was able to bring clarity to whoever needed to receive this message. Look, something told me pull one more. And yeah, this is what he wants. He's going to come in with an offer, all right? But that's what he's in his mind about right now, that he wants to bring balance into the connection. He wants to reach out to you and give you some type of offer here uh, to have this, again, this new beginning, okay? A new beginning in love, uh, you know, dating, talking again, shit like that, taking it to another level here, okay? Because this is saying that he really does have uh, feelings for you. He does want to follow his heart and he wants to come through and holler at you, all right? So now we can close it out. So I hope I was able to bring clarity to whoever needs to receive this message. If you feel like this is for you, then please like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you would like to look deeper into this, send me a DM or an email and we could tap in. All right. Peace.